it really was some sort of controlled demolition because it doesn't seem that way to me. No, no, I don't think it was. I, mean, I think the um, it's possible some of these clear outs would have happened anyway, as Darren said. But I mean, I think the one that really tells you something is the, the manner in which Munira Mirza left because um, she has been working with Boris one way or another for the last 14 years, all the way back to his time in City Hall. And I don't think that as clumsy and inarticulate and foolish as that gaffe was, uh, with the, the Keir Starmer, Jim, Jimmy Savile remark in the Commons Chamber, that to me doesn't seem like the kind of remark that you would walk away after 14 years over. Um, so I think that this suggests that there's clearly uh, people are leaving for all sorts of other reasons and that um, even someone like Munira, who has been by the PM's side all this time, is now thinking that you know, now is the time to be staging my departure. Yeah, I mean, Boris has come over a great analogy today, put the gum shield back on, get back on the pitch. But this is a weakened prime minister, isn't it? I mean, there's no way about it. It doesn't seem to me that he decided to get rid of all these people in one go. Like you said, he lost one of his mm. sort of most steadfast and trusted allies. And, and like you, I don't but buy that it's this Jimmy Savile comment. So what happens now? Because you haven't got the big characters in number 10 running number 10. I mean, it must be chaos. Yeah, it is. And I, I imagine that... The difficulty with filling these jobs, which are, you know, you do want big hitters in there, people with real experience to try to restore some kind of order and discipline where it has been visibly lacking for so long. The difficulty is, I mean, what, what's the incentive if you're one of these big hitters out there to go and work in the number 10 operation as it currently stands? It's clearly it's shown itself to be a place not just where um, you can't necessarily trust that the line from number 10 won't change very quickly, um, that the Prime Minister doesn't necessarily reward the loyalty of the people he works for. He will sometimes kind of turn around and blame his, his colleagues for things. Um, so it doesn't seem to be, you know, I, I just don't see what would be in it for many big hitters to go in at the moment. Um, so I, I think they will, they will continue to struggle with this problem. And that in itself is a kind of self-fulfilling prophecy because the more chaotic it feels, the more people will leave, thus making it even more chaotic, more people will leave.